Hi, and welcome to my home studio. I am Scott Van Fossen from a band called Fighting Zero. Um, welcome, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the TC Helicon Harmony G XT, which is a new pedal from TC Helicon, uh, building off of their former Harmony G pedal. Uh, I gotta say, it's excellent. Uh, the first pedal was excellent. Uh, this one's better. Uh, has some more features on it. Uh, I love them both though. Um, anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about them um, and the, uh, the new features and to get you up and running as quickly as possible uh, with this pedal. So come on, check it out. Okay. Here we go, here's the pedal. Uh, it is off right now. Uh, there's no on or off switch per se. Uh, it's just on or off by using the power supply. So go ahead, plug it in there, and uh, you'll see it turns on all by itself. Uh, right here, XLR, that's where we want to plug in our vocal microphone, which we have. Uh, we plug that in there. And then on the back, right here, left XLR out. Okay, you can run this pedal in stereo, but for this uh, demonstration, it's just going to be in mono, which is left out. Uh, and there are two quarter inch jacks here. Uh, one on the bottom is for your guitar, and then the other one is also for your guitar, but it actually runs the signal through the pedal instead of having uh, your guitar in the bottom jack only and having the guitar being processed by the pedal. Uh, for this demonstration, we're not gonna be plugging in a guitar as well. This is just to get you set up and running. You know how to do it from there, I'm sure. So, uh, with our mic now plugged in, uh, turn the input down uh, and keep on checking the mic until you get a signal there. Once you uh, see a red clipping light, you don't want that, so you just back it off from there. Excellent. Now that we have our signal, very good. Uh, you'll notice that this button right here, Mark Tone, is actually on. Uh, this Tone button uh, provides uh, some EQ, uh, some compression, and some DSing. If you hold down the button, uh, you'll see it start to flash with a D. That's the default setting. Uh, you can actually cycle through. Uh, by tapping the button and find other various settings which is described in the manual. Uh, some have different EQs, some have more compression. Uh, the default setting, I gotta tell you, is, uh, is definitely by far my favorite. Just hold down on the tone button and that brings you right back into, the, uh, into your, your main game there. Okay, um, moving on. If we had our guitar plugged in, uh, you would see uh, your, uh, uh, your guitar knob here. Uh, if you rotate it fully counterclockwise uh, with your guitar input, you will uh, have your guitar balanced by the pedal, uh, meaning you'll have it balanced between the uh, level of the guitar and the level of the vocals. Uh, which is a nice thing. Um, it actually listens to uh, a few seconds of your playing and then decides, uh, you know, how much volume to give one over the other, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, however, uh, for the demonstrations that I've had in the past, um, I've actually just kind of left it right in the center. Uh, the effects knob, check, check, check. And we're clipping there. There we go. Now we're better. With uh, the effects knob, you control the amount of effects that you see listed right here. You have a number of them. You have a hall reverb, a room reverb, uh, an echo, uh, sort of a slapback. Uh, you have a combination of a few of the effects and uh, some uh, sound effects style uh, uh, settings there. At least that's what SFX means to me. All the way off, you have a completely dry signal and start moving it up. You can tell it just starts controlling it a little bit more. And there, if you hit the FX knob, or the uh, FX button, I should say, uh, it'll take them right off. Uh, 
hall, room, echo, slap, combination. So that includes reverb as well as uh, some delays, SFX, and off. So uh, you can hear the, uh, uh, the differences with the level control uh, as well as the differences between the, uh, the actual uh, effects. Here we have the harmony knob. Uh, this is more of a, a set to suit to taste and uh, you, you play with that. You, you see what you like, how much harmony. Um, I actually like having just a little bit of harmony underneath uh, the vocals. Some people like the harmonies just blasting you right in the face. Um, well, it's, it's all your opinion and, and what you think sounds good. Um, right underneath the uh, harmony knob, you have higher, high, low, lower, bass, and octave uh, listings, okay, with voice one and voice two. This is, this is where it gets cool. Um, you can actually cycle down through higher, high, low, lower, bass, and octave for two different voices, which is really cool. What does that mean? Well, higher is a fifth or seventh above your voice. High is a third above your voice, and that is minor or major, depending on the third in uh, the guitar chord that you're playing. The low setting is a third below uh, your voice, and that is minor or major. Uh, you have lower, which is a sixth below your voice. You have bass, which, this is cool, this follows the root note of whatever chord you're playing. So, pretty cool. It's like Oak Ridge Boys style. Uh, and then you have, uh, then you have octave uh, up. This, this actual note is uh, octave up, and then this one is actually octave down on this, this voice. Uh, so it will follow your voice exactly one octave above or below, uh, no matter what chord you're actually playing.